Hey, it's Irreverent Aegis here, and in this video I am showing you an updated build for the Glass Aegis, formerly known as the Glass Paladin. I had to get to 1600 CP before I could maximize the viability of this build, because the CP 2.0 system completely changed how damage mitigation worked. But now that I'm here, I can resume the fake tank shenanigans I came to love before. Now don't worry, I only run this build with friends. No queuing for random vets with the Glass Aegis. I don't want to become a Reddit villain. At least not yet, anyway. The question I sought to answer with this build was this. Could my team run 4 DPS and clear all the veteran DLC dungeons with me tanking with under 20,000 health? Not only that, but to qualify as a DPS, I required that the build could hit over 35k on the 3 mil parse dummy with my actual in-content gear, CP allocation, and rotation while maintaining aggro the entire time. Previously, the answer was a resounding yes, as the original Glass Paladin triumphantly cleared every vet DLC dungeon through Stone Garden. But with the more recent changes to the game, I wasn't so sure, so of course I had to test it out, and holy crap, this thing is even more powerful than before. The primary build features a Medusa Ice Staff charged with the Flame Enchant, an infused Vatashrams Ice Staff with the Frost Enchant, Maw of the Infernal Monster set, Elemental Catalyst on the body, and Bloodthirsty Medusa Jewelry with Spell Damage Enchants. The Munda Stone is the Thief, and I run Ghastly Eyeball Parse Food. This build has incredibly high uptime on Brittle and all three elements for Catalyst, so you can easily fulfill your blasé support tank role in a very unblasé way. As you can see, I hit a whopping 37,000 damage per second with this build while maintaining aggro the entire time. Okay, it may have fallen off for a second here or there. And of course that damage is without backstab or slotted, because you can't attack from the flank if you're the tank. As I show you the gearing, the skill bar, and CP, you may be thinking, sure, but can you do that in actual content when tanking? And wouldn't an actual tank still make your team stronger because of Minor Breach, an infused Crusher Enchant, and a second buff set? What about survivability? Well, you'll see as I release videos in my Fake Tank Vet DLC Dungeon Challenge series that 4 DPS can definitely be way better than 3 DPS in a tank in many situations. And you'll also see that I can dish out quite a bit of damage, even when I have to do pesky things like block. And you'll also see that I don't need to tank for very long if everything's dead. So if you have any doubts, get over yourself and any ESO dogma that you may have fallen victim to and just enjoy the build. It was designed as a challenge, it was fun as hell, and it exceeded all my expectations, with it being able to tank every DLC dungeon in way more DLC hard modes than expected. And of course, if you're here because you simply like to see unique content such as tank POV guides and non-traditional tanking videos, I thank you for watching and hope that you'll like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel.